in your 90s, like one of my students who walks around with a cane, has cataracts, he's 91 years of age and does Google Hangouts and gets his message out to the rest of the world. He lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. I have a girl who's seven years of age. She started with me when she was six. I didn't allow her to take the course because we teach people how to monetize Google Hangouts and I thought she was too young to make money. But her parents, she's of Indian descent. She lives in Melbourne, Australia. They were offended. They reached out to me. Um, they said, how dare you, Alex? <laughs> so I said, okay, bring her on. And she is a professional Google Hangout marketer. At age seven, she started at age six. So if your age is between six and 91, this is for you. And if you're like most people, you are facing a problem. It's an urgent problem. And that is this concept of overwhelm. We have too much marketing, too much communication coming to us. And what happens when you're overwhelmed? Well, overwhelm keeps you stuck. My job today is to create movement. My job is to get you unstuck. My job, even if you don't know a topic or you don't know what it is that you wanna focus on, you don't know what you want, people don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. But let's say you don't have a passion or purpose in life yet, at the end of this hangout, you will find one because you will see a technology that gets you out. If you're an author and you have a manuscript in your heart or in your head and you wanna get it out there, writing a book doesn't make you money. It's explaining a book that makes you money. Marketing is what makes you money. And movement is about life and marketing is movement. So I'm gonna teach you how to do marketing even if you're a newbie and you don't have over 21,000 hours of experience. That's you know, it takes about 10,000 to become a master, they say, 21,000 hours. And what gives me the right to be teaching you is I've made more mistakes than you have in this area of marketing. I've lost more money than you have in this area of marketing. If I haven't, then I think you should be teaching this training. And I've lost other people's money as clients of mine, testing and tracking to see what works. I know what is in marketing, especially online, by getting rid of what isn't. And I'm the CEO and founder of marketingonline.com. It's a pretty good website, right? And I've taught the fastest, easiest, most economical way to dramatically boost your sales and profits without spending any money on advertising. And that is to focus on Google Hangouts. Something that is ridiculed right now because it's new. Just like Facebook was in 2006, just like Google was in the year 2000, just like Apple was in 1994, just like IBM was in the 1960s. Now, I want you to focus on Google Hangouts and the way to overcome overwhelm is to control your focus. So please turn off your email, turn off your phone, any distractions that you may have, we're gonna work very, very quickly. We're gonna fill in, we're gonna complete this action guide. And if you, haven't have, if you don't have it printed out, just take notes as we go because I want this to be worthwhile. You have 86,400 seconds a day. You have 168 hours a week. You have 52 weeks a year. Don't tell me you don't have time or money to do this. You haven't made it a priority if you don't wanna do this. The principle of priority is knowing the difference between what's important and what's urgent and doing what's important first. So if you wanna to play to win and make this important, stay with me and let's go. If you don't, no one's making you watch. You might as well leave now because we are gonna learn learn and learn. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So on the cover, you see Albert Einstein. He says, once you stop learning, you start dying. And I believe that. And in the promise of Hangout Marketing Secrets, there's a picture of me pointing down. You see the, the, the promise says, tested methods that expand your exposure, maximize your social influence, and monetize your enterprise, promoting Google Plus Hangouts. Now, the key word there is tested. That's why it's underlined. That's the key word, tested. And so everything I'm gonna teach you is tested. Tested means I've been embarrassed so you don't have to be. Tested means I've lost money so you don't have to lose money. Tested means I've looked bad so you don't have to look bad. So by this time, I hope you are watching and you have clicked on the action guide tab. You, you printed it out and we're on page number two. So here we go, do you see it? Page two. So here's the first fill in. So step by step, we're gonna fill in stuff one by one by one. Now, there is a three-part predicament. You are overwhelmed if you're like most people. 
That's because we're in an over-communicated, over-marketed society, but you are overwhelmed for a few reasons. Number one, I think three reasons. Number one, you don't have enough skills to take yourself to the next level, okay? So with Google Hangouts or any kind of virtual presentation where you're at the office or home and you're getting out there like a professional speaker, but instead of traveling 200 or 250 times a year, you're at home like I am. And I'm lucky enough I can make eight figures from my home and office conducting Google Hangouts and virtual presentations like this. But if you don't have the skills, if you don't have the skills, right, not enough skills, then you won't prosper from Google Hangouts. The second thing that you don't have enough of are probably the tools. Otherwise, you'd be making money from this, right? So skills and tools are the two things that you don't have. And the third thing, in my opinion, again, everything I teach is never true 100% of the time, but I have found it to be true most of the time, is you don't have enough leverage. So skills is part one. Tools is part two and leverage is part three. Let me show you again so you keep up. Skills, tools, and leverage. Now, under useful takeaways on the right-hand side, I want you to write down what the different definition of leverage is because many people don't know. It's five words. Maximum productivity with minimum effort. Maximum productivity with minimum effort. Okay, five words. Okay, Alex, well, I get that, but what's productivity? If leverage is maximum productivity with minimum effort, what's productivity? Well, many people think productivity is the thing. It's not. Productivity is maximum results in minimum time. Put that in your additional notes. Maximum results in minimum time is productivity, but leverage is maximum productivity with minimum effort. All right, so Albert Einstein once said, nothing happens until something moves. Brilliant, brilliant quote. In marketing, I say, okay, nothing happens until something is exposed, until your offer is exposed. That's the fill-in on page two. Nothing happens until your offer is exposed. You need exposure. Now, many people don't realize what exposure means. In business, most people who have a website say, I need more traffic. I need more irresistible offers. I need more people to come and see me. That's not true. Before you need more traffic, you need more exposure. So there are four types of marketing interactions that I'm going to teach you on the bottom of page two. And the first type, the fill-in, type number one, they're called seekers. Write that down, please. Seekers. Now, a seeker is someone who's just looking at your web page, is just looking at your fan page, your Twitter page, your LinkedIn page, your Google Plus page. They're just looking. They haven't uh, clicked yet. They haven't commented yet. They haven't shared. They haven't opted in with their email address. They're just looking. So that's a seeker. Now, the second type, a little bit more intimate, is called a suspect. Alex, what's a suspect? All right. Well, a suspect is someone who has clicked on a link, someone who has commented on a post, someone who has shared a post. You see, it's more engagement. It's more intimate. They're not just looking, they've actually taken their mouse and taken their keyboard and does, done something with it. And that's called a suspect. Now that's a much more intimate interaction with that person. Are, are you writing this stuff down? Okay, I'm, I'm not doing this for my health. I already know this, so please write it down, okay? Now the third type of marketing interaction on the bottom of page two is called prospects. You've heard of this, a prospect. A prospect is someone who opts in either with their mobile phone, which the majority of people are working on the internet these days, on their mobile phone, their smartphone, or online. Now, all of you, every single one of you are prospects. How do I know? Because you opted in to be here. You're watching, you may be engaging, you may be telling us you know, where you're hanging out from underneath this video, you can do that. Just state your full name and where you're hanging out from. I'm Alex Mondosian. I'm hanging out from San Rafael, California. Where I'm sitting is about 7.3 miles away from uh, Skywalker Ranch, George Lucas's ranch, uh, where he created Star Wars. And I'm about 73 miles away from the Google campus in Silicon Valley. I'm just north of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's where I'm sitting right now. Okay, so where are you hanging out from? Well, what a great way to engage. Use your keyboard and underneath the video, you can type it in and then we'll go back to the notes. So you have seekers, 
suspects and prospects. And then what happens after prospects? You have buyers, buyers. Now, when you're watching, you're not a buyer until you pay a dollar. If you continue education with me, you become a buyer. Now, what has the highest level of trust and credibility? A buyer. What has the highest level of um, the ability to buy again and again because they're proven? A buyer. But before you get a buyer, you need a lot of prospects. Before you get a lot of prospects, you need a lot of suspects. And before you get a lot of suspects, you need lots of seekers. So under the useful takeaways, the marketing movement is all about sus uh, seekers to suspects to prospects to buyers. That's the marketing movement you want. That's all it is. And let me show you my notes. Marketing is movement of converting seekers to suspects. You see it there? Suspects to prospects, prospects to buyers, and buyers to the fifth type, write down advocates. I put four types, there's a bonus. This movement is all about conversion. The more people you convert from seekers to suspects to prospects to buyers and then advocates who buy again and again, those are called multi-buyers, right? Those are evangelists, okay? What you need to start with is more exposure. And I'm showing you through Google Hangouts how to get exposure through a technology that Google owns, which means they're gonna discriminate in your favor. Now, do you want in on this deal? Do you wanna know how that's done? Now, I want you to get in on this before too many other people get involved. We're still near the beginning stages and it's still being ridiculed. Now, if you feel this will teach you or your colleagues or family members, maybe your kids if you have any, or a spouse, a loved one, how to build a business starting from scratch and create a, a three or four, even five figure income. Now I've created an eight figure income doing this, but I'm not saying that's possible for you. I'm just saying if I can do it, I think you can do it as well. And you know, many people talk about how to become a millionaire online. Well, I believe that everyone will make a million dollars in their lifetime. The trick is how to make a million dollars in a year. Everyone will make a million dollars in 40 years. Everyone will make a million dollars in maybe 30 years. Now, fewer will make it in 20 and far fewer will make it in 10. The trick is to do it in one year because that way you have a lot of um, disposable income to play with. Now, what about me? What gives me the right to talk about becoming a millionaire online? Well, I've made a million dollars in a year online. In fact, I've made a million dollars in just a quarter. That's three months. I've made a million dollars in just a month. I had my first million dollar month in 2005. I've made a million dollars in a week. I did that in 2006. I've made a million dollars online in a day. I did that also in 2006. And in 2007 in February, I haven't done it yet, I made a million dollars in less than an hour. It took me 29 minutes. Now, I haven't done that since. It was like a perfect storm. But if you're gonna learn how to make a million dollars in a year, Learn it from someone who's done it in less than an hour. That's what I say. So I'm telling you so that you're not, I'm not boasting here. I'm telling you so that you know I've been there and I've made a lot of mistakes and I know what not to do. And that's why I believe you're here. And I'll show you case studies of other people who are just as tech challenged as me, just as tech challenged as, as Gary Ryan Blair. He and I are not programmers, we're marketers. Now, do you see the possibility of generating cash using Google if you know how to align with Google? Do you see how knowing this today can impact you three months from now, even three years from now? Can you see how loved ones or, or your children or maybe your spouse, maybe an ex-spouse, you know, can help you out with support, can utilize this technology to help you out to make money? I mean, even a couple thousand extra dollars a month is not only doable, but it really would help, don't you think? If it just fell on your lap, you know, 12,000 a year, 24,000 extra dollars a year, that's 2,000 a month. So let's talk about some of the dumb mistakes people make with Google Hangouts. And one of the biggest mistakes people make is they forget the lower third. This is on page three. So mistake number one is forget lower third. What's the lower third? The lower third is this thing you see down below. You see where it says Alex Mondosian Hangout Monetization Secrets? That's the lower third. And I can change that lower third, for example. I can change it to this lower third, which is my marketing online lower third. You see my picture there, right? There's a picture right there, right there, right? That's me. And then you see that I'm promoting myself at the same time, Alex Bondosian marketing and then marketingonline.com. Well, 
I'm going to put it back to this lower third. And the reason you want a lower third is you're like a broadcaster. People know who you are and you build more credibility by having that lower third as a Google Hangout person. Now, forgetting your call to action. What's a call to action, Alex? That's when you ask people to do something. Hangout monetization secrets is a call to action, right? My, my domain, my URL is there and just it's in that lower third. Or I can say, hey, I want you to fill in these sheets of paper. That's a call to action. Give your child a hug tonight. That's a call to action. If you don't have someone take a physical action, then your message is impotent. I love the TED speeches, you know, the Tedsters that are on TED.com. Love those speeches. They're jaw dropping, inspiring, but they don't have call to actions. So you gotta have a call to action if you wanna make it worthwhile. The third mistake people make is they forget the start broadcast button. Now, I have clicked on the start broadcast button because you are seeing me, but I have to admit that I have forgotten that at least two dozen times. There's a green little button on the lower um, center of my, uh, my Google Hangout uh, members area. That's, that's where I'm recording from right now. I can bring up to 10 people in this room, but I can have multiple people watching from the outside, which is where you're watching from now. People can have a social conversation with each other, just like all the people. We have hundreds of people watching. You can have a social conversation with each other. Type something in and you'll see. Your face will pop up, right? So we use... Facebook comments to have social conversations with each other. It's amazing. It's co-opetition. You know, Facebook is not in competition with Google. They're co-opetating. So forgetting the blue bot, uh, forgetting your um, lower third, forgetting the call to action, forgetting the start broadcast button means that it's not broadcast out. And if you don't broadcast it, it's not recorded. And if it's, if it's not recorded, it doesn't go into your YouTube channel. Now there will be a recording of this immediately after the conclusion of this video. If you're watching live, then you get to go back and watch the replay again and again at this channel. And give me takeaways and big, you know, aha moments that you had along the way. And I do want you to continue education with me, but I'm not ready to make that offer to you yet. But just know if I didn't click on start broadcast, you wouldn't be seeing it right now. And what a big mistake I've made over the years where, you know, in, in like two and a half years, I've maybe forgot it a couple dozen times and I'm done with my presentation an hour later and no one saw it. And I go, uh-oh, and no one recorded it. Now, the third thing, the fourth thing, excuse me, that people forget is they forget the web camera. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you forget the web camera, that means when you're talking, you're not looking into the web camera. When you're talking, you're looking at the screen. Now, if I'm talking like this, and you know, I'm, I'm looking at someone who's talking to me, you say, Alex, I think you need some Botox. What I wanna do instead is look straight at you, and for emphasis, I can look above my glasses, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So look at the camera. It's very unnatural. It's kind of looking at a, a TV camera. I've been on television many times and you see this little red light up top and it's not natural to look into a camera. But if you don't, you're not getting this eye to eye contact. And then the, the fifth mistake is forgetting the blue box. Now what's a blue box? The blue box is um, a box that goes around your picture inside the hangout. Many times you'll have multiple guests inside and you use your mouse to click on that video and it puts a blue box around it. When it puts a blue box around it, that person comes on the big screen. If I forget to click on the, uh, to put a blue box on someone else, not, right now I'm the only one speaking, but you'll notice that when, if you were here at the very beginning, Gary was speaking, I forgot to blue box him uh, initially, and you were seeing a picture of me, but Gary was talking, okay? That's not only embarrassing, that's a mistake. So you always want to manually click on the video box of the person talking so they're on the big screen, and then everyone down below, which you don't see anyone because there's no one else here, they won't be seen. That's important. Otherwise, uh, Google is voice activated, so <coughs> if somebody coughs, then it goes straight to them, and that's, that's really embarrassing, okay? So those are the uh, five mistakes. And, and let me go over them just so you get caught up. The first is forgetting your lower third, okay? The second is forgetting the call to action. Always have a call to action. That's mistake number two. Mistake number three, I hope you've written these down, forgetting the start broadcast button. Mistake number four, forgetting the web camera. Forgetting the web camera, looking into it, and then finally forgetting the blue box. Now. Who does Google Hangouts? 
Well, let me show you some people who have done it over the years because the bottom line is when people are in the, in the realm of doing Google Hangouts, they end up making not only a lot of money, but they end the um, frustration that they have faced in trying to get more website exposure. Now, let me show you, let me show you a few people in my tribe who have conducted Google Hangouts. Now, this here is Trevi. Trevi Lim uh, is a business owner. He owns multiple pharmacies. He lives in Adelaide, Australia. And he's our first case study. Now, Hangouts got him to page one. Those are his words, not mine. And before he met us, before he continued education with us, he owned a, a chain of pharmaceutical stores in Australia and wanted to build a consulting business. Now, you may be a professional and you may be wanting to do something different. Well, he couldn't figure out a way on how to get his message out. He tried to learn Google Plus marketing on his own, but he couldn't seem to get it off the ground. After he met us within a few hours of training with us, Trevi claims in his words that what took him three months to learn on his own took less than three hours and it got him to rank number one on Google for his keywords utilizing our Hangout marketing strategies. You can do the exact same thing. Trevi is not a tech person. Trevi is a business person. Now, this is Janet. Now, Janet is from the United Kingdom. Before she met us, she wanted to create a membership site with personal trainers. That's the business she in. She, she trains personal trainers, but she didn't know how to get exposure or seekers in order to get suspects, in order to get prospects, and then ultimately members or buyers. So she couldn't get new prospects to enter her marketing funnel. Now, she didn't know much about marketing and she was very tech challenged. She could, she could barely turn on, a, uh, turn on the, the Google Hangout um, technology to make it work for her. But after training with us and while learning with us, she turned pro, which means she started to make money. And she did this for the first time online and she started to create new members and passive income for her membership site, and she started to partner with Google and YouTube, and we can teach you how to do the exact same thing. Google Plus streamlined her costs. She, she skimmed her, her, her costs. She shaved it down to one-tenth of what it used to be, going to personal uh, speak, speeches on stage, going from venue to venue. Why? Because she doesn't have to do that anymore. She can do it from the comfort of her office and her home. So that's Trevi and that's Janet. We will get to a few more case studies later on. They are great stories and they are all true. And we have over 7,000 graduates of this course. Now, let's go on to page number four. Page number four, at the very bottom, there's a quote by T.S. Eliot that says, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go. I hope you like my quotes. Now, there are three reasons why most entrepreneurs fail. I'm gonna give you all three of them. Number one, they fail to get started. This is the function of procrastination. It's one of the evils. It's one of the evil twins, procrastination. It's the fear of getting started. I don't know if you're a procrastinator or not. You may be a procrastinator in denial, but if you don't get started, it's really tough to get things going. If you continue education with me and you fail to get started, there's really nothing I can do about it. Now, the second failure is the failure to keep going. Now, this is where you don't allow momentum to take effect. In fact, this is called perfectionism. There's procrastination, failure to get started, and perfectionism, failure to keep going. Kind of like a water pump, you know, the water comes from the bottom of the water table and comes out of the, 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 the spout, and you can pump a few times and all of a sudden, nothing is happening. So if you stop pumping, the water that was being vacuumed up from the water table goes back down. Well, if you keep pumping, you get a drop, then 10 drops, then a thousand drops, then a million drops. And for every input, you can get a million outputs, right? That is the power of momentum and that's how you keep going. If you fail to keep going and you, and you quit too soon, which most students I know are guilty of, then you will never succeed. Bill Gates said in the very beginning when I used to sleep under my desk at Microsoft, I put in a thousand inputs into the business and I got one output. It was discouraging, I was exhausted, but that's the way it was. Later, I put in one input 
and I got 1 million outputs. That's where I want you to be, and that's what Google Hangouts can get you to faster, better, and easier. But those two failures, the failure to get started and the failure to keep going, dwarf in comparison to this one is the failure to follow mentoring. Every great leader, every great thought leader, every great athlete has a mentor or a coach in some respect. Someone who has plowed the ground before them, someone who's already done what they wanna do, therefore they're not making the same mistakes they made in the past. Are you with me? Are you taking notes? Okay, if you're not taking notes, you might as well stop right now. You're wasting time. Take notes because Paylink is better than a memory, photographic memory. Failure to get started, failure to keep going, and failure to follow mentoring, okay? I want to be your mentor with Google Hangouts. For less than a dinner for four in most cities, some dinner for twos in most cities, where I live in San Francisco, you can get access to a world-class course that people like Gary Ryan Blair, Jack Canfield, uh, people like Bob Proctor, if you know who he is, um, best-selling authors Harvey McKay and the founder and chairman of BNI, Business Network International, Dr. Ivan Meisner, and many, many other people, Mark Victor Hansen, Larry King, many, many others have gone through this training, okay? I am not famous, but what I teach is how to do virtual presentations to famous people, and I'm the guy behind the guy to many people that you know, but I'm personally not famous. You don't need to be famous to make multi-millions utilizing Google Hangouts. And now is the time to give you an unfair advantage to finally do that because this is for the little guy or little gal that doesn't need a television studio or millions of dollars in media to get out there. Your message can get out there. Your kid's message can get out there. Your spouse's or loved one's message can get out there and you can do it with the help of Google and YouTube. Am I getting to you? Am I making a little bit of an impact? Okay, so the question now is, well, that's great, Alex. I'm glad. You told me what the three big mistakes are. You told me what the stupid mistakes are and, and what doing Google Hangouts can get in the way. You told me um, what the predicament is of, of not enoughness. That's great. But what do I do if I'm just starting out? I don't know and this Google Hangout thing. What do I do to get started? Is there a formula to start? What's the answer? Yes. I anticipate that question, and the formula is called the FIT formula, and I want you to write it down on page four. It's follow, invite, and tell. Now, follow, under useful takeaways, put down, it gives you visibility. Invite gives you credibility, and telling people about it makes you profitable. Visibility, credibility, profitability. Visibility, credibility, profitability. F-I-T, follow, invite, and tell. So F is for follow, I is for invite, T is for tell. Now, why is the FIT formula so powerful? It'll take you 90 days starting from scratch, sometimes less than 60 days, but to be safe, 90. Here's what you do. You find three social influencers whom you admire and respect. People who, if they somehow no longer were around and they gave you their database, you would be independently wealthy for life without even having to work. For me, there are two people that are that way, at least two people that I've identified. One is a guy by the name of Seth Godin. Another one is by the uh, a guy by the name of um, Guy Kawasaki. They're both authors. They're both you know, great men. Uh, Susie Orman is another one. Um, she's a woman and, and she is in the financial services business and usually reaches out to, to most women and she's on national TV. These are social influencers who have an impact and have the same similar tribe that I do. And I wanna teach their people how to do Google Hangouts. So how do I strategically align with them? All right, so first thing is you choose three social influencers and you follow them. What do you do? You follow them, you follow them for 90 days, every single day. You go to, your, uh, you go to their, uh, uh, their Google page, their Google Plus page, if they have one. You go to their Twitter page, that you go to their Facebook fan page or profile page, you go to their um, LinkedIn page, it takes about 15 minutes a day, five minutes each, and you follow them. Well, what else do I do, Alex? You comment, you share, you show up so your face keeps coming up again, 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 again. Now, somewhere around two to three weeks, you get noticed and you get a comment back. You go, wow, he noticed me, she noticed me. Somewhere around 35 to, to 60 days, you actually are getting 
acknowledged for commenting because you're not a stalker, you're edifying them, you're commenting. And they're going, wow, who is this person? You know, they keep, they're here. I'm wired for acknowledgement like anybody else. I, I want to acknowledge this person. And then the magic time is between day 60 and day 90. They magically will invite you to ask you, what, what can I do for you? Now, when they say, what can I do for you? Then that's when you go from F to I. You invite them. You invite them to a Google Hangout. Who's Google Hangout? Your Hangout. Well, what do you mean my Hangout? What do I do? You interview them. I interview them about what? About their content. And then when they say yes, and many will, and those who say no initially will say yes after others have. How do I know? So I build an eight-figure business doing this over 22 years. Not just with Google Hangouts, but with teleseminars and other virtual technology. Once they say yes, you tell the world. Now, look at the, the, the amazing thing about Google Hangouts is this. You tell them, I'm going to have a Google Hangout where I'm going to interview you. Here are the interview questions. I can't wait to do it. We're going to record it. I end up transcribing it. So we have like an audio ebook that's video based. The transcription is like a dollar per minute, right? Of transcription. I, I clean it up a bit and for less than 200 bucks, we have a new product and I just give it to the, uh, to the guest and say, hey, you can just give this away and your picture's on it if you play it right. And here's the best part. People will watch the Google Hangout on their website because Google allows anyone, me, you, anyone, not to just go to someone's Google Plus page like where you are right now, but they can they give you one line of code when you pre-schedule it and your guest can have the Google Hangout on their website to their tribe. So they invite their tribe, which they will, to their website to get interviewed by you. And now you're a guest interviewer like a Barbara Walters or a Larry King, and you've just gone to heaven without the inconvenience of dying. Imagine if you mastered this skill three months from now, what would your life look like? Can you see the payoff of this time-tested process? Now, are you willing to stop what you're doing right now in whatever type of marketing that you're trying to build your business, whether you're in the corporate world or you're an entrepreneur, and just give this a try? That's what I'm asking you to do. That's how simple it is. Just giving someone a link so that they can promote it on their own website, and they don't even have to send traffic to you. They send traffic to themselves, and you're the one being promoted. That's called syndication. And once that happens, you tell, tell, tell the world. Follow, invite, and tell. And that is the three-step fit formula. Now, before we go to page number five, how am I doing? Are you glad you made this presentation? Would you like to see some more case studies that use the fit formula? All right, well, I'm gonna show you. This is Jack Wong. Now, he saw tremendous results using this fit formula. Case study number three, Jack is from Singapore, and he was a very successful day trader. He was a day trader in trading securities and stocks, and he wanted to create a how-to course, right? Once you get good at something, you want to give back. So he wanted to give back so he could teach other day traders how to do what he did successfully. And he didn't have a platform to do it. He didn't know how to write a book. He didn't know how to get it out there or get exposure. And he didn't know how to do it quickly and profitably. So what he did is started training with us. Now, before he met us, that's what the, his situation was. After he met us, now you see his lower third. You see how uh, you can get these lower thirds for $5 at Fiverr, right? Really, really simple. Well, look what happens when there's no lower third, okay? We'll get to uh, Marivi in just a moment, but when there's no lower third, you can't promote yourself. Here, onlinetradingprofits.com, we're promoting them. I want to promote you. If you're one of my students, you'll be one of my case studies. Because after Jack met us, during his Hangout Marketing training, he began to expose his day trading secrets to the masses. And now he changes people's lives with the help of Google and YouTube. And he used the fit formula to get there. Case study number four, this is Mariva LaQuesta. She's in Canada, Newfoundland, Canada. That's her on the right-hand side. And Hangouts grew her business. Now, before she met us, Marivi was a stress, stress reduction guru. Very important topic. You know, most people are overwhelmed these days, including kids, and she had no web presence whatsoever. She Actually, I think that she was challenged just turning on a laptop. She's very tech challenged. So there's no excuse. If you're a technology challenge, great. I'll teach you how to become a tech dummy millionaire. <laughs> so she had no web presence prior to meeting us. She was highly tech challenged, and she wanted to get her message to the world 
away from her home in Newfoundland. Now, she has 3,000 people in her city. So getting personal clients to come into her office, okay, that's profitable, but I mean, there's 7 billion people and probably 2 billion could use what she has and 1 billion could pay for it. So after she met us, our training taught Marivi how a simple web camera with an internet connection could make her a social influencer in the stress reduction market. And that's what she is today. And Google and YouTube has changed her life and they both use the fit formula. These are real life case studies. These are people that have gone from zero to professional in no time. And that's because they were given a paint by numbers approach. Our continuing edu education is paint by numbers. Now, you've seen a button that you can click to go there, but don't go there. Don't get signed up because I have some very valuable bonuses that I want you to know about before you make the decision. It's not about money or time. You have plenty of time or money, okay? You make way more money than what this co course will cost to invest in. It's just not a priority if you say no. And I wanna make it a priority. I'm trying to win your favor by having me be your hangout marketing mentor as over 7,000 people have decided that fate for me. I want to be yours. Now let's go to page number five. And, you know, Albert Einstein had this favorite, uh, ha had a famous uh, formula called the, the formula of relativity, the equation E equals MC squared. You probably heard of it. Well, I borrowed that and I made it E equals MC cubed. Now for Albert Einstein, E equaled energy. For me, E equals engagement. And MC for Albert Einstein was um, mass times the speed of light. C was the speed of light. I have three MCs and I'm gonna teach you what it is. So I want you to write down the formula. This is the key to Google Hangouts. This is the theory of engagement, how to engage and enroll others. E equals MC, that's the fill-in, cubed. So let's talk about what the first MC is. The first MC is you gotta have message clarity. Have I been clear with you? Okay, fuzzy targets don't get hit. If you have clarity, then you can pay off your debts. If you have clarity, you'll stop doing the energy draining activities that are uh, taking time away from what you deserve. If you have clarity, then even if you're a beginner student, you can, use these wealth acceleration strategies to your advantage so that you not only make more money, you live a happier and healthier life. Now the second MC, I hope you write this down, MC2 is message consistency. You will get tired of your message before anyone else does. So message clarity, message consistency. You wanna say the same message again and again and again. You know those 7,000 students I've gotten? Well, I've given the same exact message again and again. You are not promoting to a standing grandstand of people watching you. You are always promoting to a moving parade. So you will get tired of your message before they do. And then finally, message convergence. Write it down. It's a little trickier word, message convergence. Many of my beginner students have used this to recreate themselves. Message convergence means having your Google Hangouts converge into one place. The biggest mistake people make is they use social media differently. Like, their Twitter message is different than their Facebook message, which is different than their LinkedIn message, which is different than their YouTube message. Why? Make it all part of the same thing. Promote your Google Hangouts each week and have it all converge into one place. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. So message clarity, message consistency, and message convergence. Now, how do you create a Google Hangout? Like, what is the outline to create a virtual presentation like I'm doing right now? Well, here's the outline. I like simple. My unique ability is taking complicated things and making it simple. Have you noticed? I mean, that's why people follow me. That's why people make me the guy behind the guy, right? And to teach them the guy behind the gal. So here's the three step, three question outline to maximize engagement. Okay, you wanna ask why this, why us, why now? Now us can also be why me, but you know, us is better. Why this, why us, why now? Now, why this? Why this topic? That's what that means. Like whatever your topic that you're delivering on a Google Hangout, you gotta start with why this? I already told you. The reason why we're doing this presentation is on the action guide. Tested methods that expand your exposure, maximize your social influence, and monetize your enterprise promoting Google Hangouts. 
That's why this, you get more social influence, you get out of debt. It's a simple way without search engine optimization to be number one on Google. You become famous without, you know, going through all of the, the trouble and struggle it takes for most celebrities and famous people. That's what happens in my little world. I'm really, really well known. You may not know me, but my world knows me and my world pays me a lot of money for knowing me. So that's what, why this is. Why is this relevant? Why is this important? You got to know that before you start a Google Hangout. I already told you why. Why us or why me? I told you the reason I'm uniquely qualified, the right to teach you this is I've made more mistakes than you have. I've made, I've lost more money than you have. And I've looked bad in public more often than you have. So I know what it is by getting rid of it. That's why me. You want to go with someone who's made more mistakes. Mistakes are great. The more you make, the smarter you get. One of my mentors taught me that. And then finally, why now? Why this? Why me? Why now? Now, let me tell you why Google Hangouts now. I don't know what your topic is, but you better tell them why now. Why now is the, the right time to get started. The reason why now with Google Hangouts is we are at a ridicule stage. And okay, all truth goes through three phases, said a famous German philosopher. The first stage is it is ridiculed. You know, people just ridicule it because it's new. The second stage, stage number two, is it is violently opposed. War, criticism, there's violent opposition. That's stage two. We're not even there yet with Google Hangouts. We're truly at the ground floor of ridicule. And then the stage, it's accepted as self-evident. Twitter was ridiculed, violently opposed, and then accepted as self-evident. Facebook was ridiculed, violently opposed, and accepted as self-evident. Um, the iPod was ridiculed, violently opposed, and then accepted as self-evident. Think of all the spiritual traditions in the past. Ridicule and self-evidence don't always go back to back. It takes time. We are at the ridicule stage. I've been ridiculed for making money through this medium because many of the people on Google, um, hang, on Google Plus on that platform, they don't like people making money. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> I want to tell you the most important thing for you to do, if you're still watching, is to make money from this because most people don't know how. And I've made more money than most other people combined because I've committed myself to, and I'm hoping you will too. Now, if you're thinking about doing this with me, then stay tuned because this next page, page number six, I'm going to give you some bonus, bonus gifts that will ethically bribe you to say yes and pull the trigger because the third bonus is worth 20 times the price of admission. So stay tuned for this. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm promoting and at the same time, I'm teaching. This is what you do on Google Hangouts. You do exactly what I'm doing here. I teach you presentation skills teach you the technology of how to do it, which is the easiest thing to learn. And then I teach you how to make money from it. So presentation, monetization, and the actual marketing of the Hangout itself. So first bonus gift I want to show you, it's not, um, it doesn't have this massive thump value that you may be used to. It's only two pages, two page bonus. That's it. And this bonus gift is worth over $3 billion. Uh, wait a minute. What'd you say, Alex? $3 billion? Yes. Billion with a B. Oh, come on. You had me at hello until now. Billion. How can you say $3 billion, two pages? Is because the ads that the, this uh, bonus has, has generated has generated over $3 billion in the last 80 years. And this is called, and I want you to write it down in bonus one, the 27 proven templates. These are headline templates. So I've laminated mine. I take it everywhere I go, okay? I've given this to Gary Ryan Blair and many other thought leaders. And these are templates and it's only two pages. This thing is priceless. And just because it's two pages, people diminish its value, but it's priceless. And what I did is I took the best headlines that I have found over the past 90 years and I put, I put them into templates and now I use them and they really pay off big time. I mean, they've made me over $14 million in the last four years alone. Here's one. Do you make these mistakes? And then the topic, okay? So that's the template. Do you make these mistakes? Topic. Do you make these mistakes in English? Do you make these mistakes when disciplining your kids? Do you make these mistakes during job interviews? Do you make these mistakes with Google Hangouts? Do you make these mistakes with tax accounting? That's the template, simple. All right, you may have heard that. How about this one? 
What people find most challenging about, and then you put in the task, listen to this. What people find most challenging about web design. What people find most challenging about raising kids. What people find most challenging about quitting smoking. What people find most challenging about fill in the blank, right? Divorce, marriage, raising children. I already said that, right? Um, providing protein for their family, okay? So that's another template. Let me give you another one. The truth about, then the topic. The truth about bargain hunting. The truth, of, the truth about network marketing. The truth about fundraising. The truth about Google Hangouts. These may sound simple, but these templates, there are 27 of them, that's bonus number one, okay? Now let me show you bonus number two. This is worth twice as much as what I'm asking you to participate in, in using this continuing education. It's worth twice as much as what the continuing education is gonna cost you. And it's available online, you can get it today. It's called Productivity Secrets. Now Productivity Secrets, there are set 67 time-proven strategies to get more done faster, better, and with far less human effort, okay? Doesn't matter if you're busy or not. The reason why I teach these Productivity Secrets is to get more done faster, better, and with less effort. It's a $500 course. It's available at productivitysecrets.com. It's right there. You can check it out. But I give it to you at no cost because I can. And what you'll learn for 21 days, how to become more productive with email, with travel, with taking notes, with um, eliminating disruptions and distractions, with dealing with um, troubled employees, Okay, these are productivity strategies that I've taken over the years. I'm a productivity consultant. If you go to Google and type in the productivity guy, you'll see over 25 million results and I'm number one, okay? Because I'm the productivity uh, guru for small business owners. That's what they call me, okay? Now, I have enough challenges with my own productivity. So basically I teach other people what I face, you know, every single day. But in the bonus section, put down productivity strategies, productivity secrets as number two bonus gift. It's worth 500 bucks. And the continuing education is worth, is, is less than $200 commitment. There's even um, financing, it's $197. You can easily find it by clicking on the button that you see underneath the video player. Now, here's the third bonus. Now the third bonus is critically important because it is something that I haven't offered before. The number one problem that people have is getting exposure, is getting more seekers to see their page. And they never get started or they don't keep it going or they don't follow my mentoring. So for 12 people, and that means you, you gotta be one of the 12 and you gotta pony up, you gotta have skin in the game. And, and Gary had nothing to do with this. This is all about what I've given you, but it's only 12. After 12, all bets are off. And for some reason you drop out, it's the next person in line. So you get on the standby list, 12, and it stops at 12, no more. I will send an email out to my list of 155,000 people to promote your Google Hangout between now and two years from now. You decide when. The longer you wait, the bigger my list becomes. I will promote to my 82,000 Facebook fans at Google Hangout. I will promote to my 143,000 Twitter followers that Google Hangout. I will uh, promote to my thousands of um, uh, LinkedIn subscribers and followers and connections. I will promote on my blog with 155,000 subscribers, your Google Hangout. Why? I won't interview you. Okay, that'll cost you $5,000. So I'm not going to interview you. I'm going to promote your Hangout because after you've learned and get certified through me, which will take you less than three weeks if you do the work, then you will get free exposure on your topic. And it, as long as it is a social redeeming topic, something that we can talk about, you know, PG-13 at maximum, right? Then I will promote to my tribe of entrepreneurs, TV producers, radio producers, and other types of entrepreneurs that are in the area of personal development and business and entrepreneurship. That is the greatest bonus I could ever give. It's priceless. If you make money from it, you keep all the money. Okay. But that is for the first 12 people. And that is bonus number three. That's called Alex promotion. Write that down. Now, what do you do in order to get that? It's, it's really simple. Okay. I'm going to keep teaching, but if you are watching on 
this hangout, then what you do is you're watching me here, okay? What you do is you click on take the hangout marketing training and when you click on that, you end up going to the hangout marketing training. And what ends up happening is you're gonna uh, type in your first name, primary email, et cetera, and when you do, you will see that for less than $200, $197, what you're gonna find is something that is not only worthwhile, but it's going to um, teach you how to do hangouts faster, better, and easier, okay? So those are the bonuses, and let's go back to the training. So we're gonna go back to this action guide that I hope you printed out, and I'm gonna come back now and continue the rest of the training. Now, I wanted to tell you something that's very important with Hangouts. Many people in the stage presentation, they wait until the very end to promote. That's not what you wanna do with a virtual presentation. Some people have to leave early. So I like to promote before the end of the first hour. So if you have a 90 minute presentation, which this is, I like to get my first promotion out with, within 50 minutes, which I did. And the reason for that, and you know, give the bonuses and everything else, is because if I don't do that, I will lose a lot of people. And many people wait until the very end. I taught Gary Ryan Blair not to wait till the very end, to do it somewhere about two thirds into it. So that's what I just did, right? Now, if you don't wanna get sold to, you won't be able to sell. If you are not a high-end client, you won't wanna be a high-end client. Now, this is not a high-end offer, but just know that you are a mirror. Any, everything is a mirror. And imagine if you knew this stuff three months ago or three weeks ago, what would life look like right now, okay? How many of you like what I'm doing here? Can you do this as well? You don't have to do it with the same style. You can use your own style, but isn't this a mir miracle way to get exposure out? Do you wanna learn more, okay? Are you glad you made it here? Well, now we're gonna talk about convergence. We're gonna talk about how to converge your message. So let's go to page number seven. And I think you'll be happy that you made it here, okay? Because what I'm gonna show you is how to get a message out. Now, this Hangout is a, a potential Hangout that I can promote to people. In fact, I've sold this Hangout content before, right? I've sold it as a course. What I'm teaching you right now, I've sold. You got in for free because of Gary, but I've sold it for less than $100. And the way I sold it is I took bits and pieces of it, I chopped it up, and over the course of 12 weeks, I put it on all the social media channels and then I sent it into an irresistible offer. Now, some people send it into their blog. Some people will send it into a launch page of some kind where they're selling something. Some people even put their Facebook fan page or their Google Plus page. Whatever the middle is, okay, that's where you're making your offer. And this is what you want to use. You want to use Facebook, number one. What you want to do is put a little piece of that hangout on Facebook and make sure you tease them and then have them go and get the entire concept on the main page, which for me is either Google Plus or my irresistible offer. Number two, Twitter. How many Twitter tweets can you do each week? And shouldn't you make the same tweets as the same Facebook posts, like similar content, send them to the same place? Remember, message clarity, message consistency, and message convergence. This is the convergence part of converging into one place. This is what dominates the internet if you do it the right way with Google Hangouts. Next, LinkedIn. Shouldn't you be posting on LinkedIn the same content you, you, you uh, post on Twitter and Facebook? I think so. Number four, business cards. Are you writing this? Business cards, whatever is on your business card, shouldn't it go to a web page where you're making an offer and not just a web page that's like a brochure, right? How many of you wish you knew this information a few years ago, okay? If, you, if you're open and willing to start making money now, this is what to do. Converge your content. Number five, YouTube. Put the stuff on YouTube and put bits and pieces of Hangouts and then dial it in so they're all going to the same place, just like your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all the other elements I've shown you. Number six, stationary. Now, they're still stationary alive and well. People are sending out direct mail, okay? It's still working, and I hope you use it. If you want to get in on this, then it requires a little bit of a commitment. On your stationery, print whatever the domain is for an offer, not just your blog where there's nothing to sell. Take them to what you're promoting. That's the big mistake people make. 
Next, email signature. What's an email signature? Well, at the bottom of each email, most programs have um, to get blank, go here. Well, that's every email you're sending out that automatically gets posted by your Gmail or your Yahoo Mail or your Outlook. So make sure that your offer is on your email signature file and you're doing the same offer on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. You're constantly promoting that link. That's how you dominate the internet. Number eight, articles. There are article directories online like ezinearticles.com. Write that down, E-Z-I-N-E, articles.com. They're still alive and well. And how many articles have I written just in this Hangout? Can I take the audio and make it into articles? And can I put those articles online and send them to a page such as hangoutmonetizationsecrets.com? That's what I've done. And that's one of many ways that I've sold the course. I told you, over 7,000 students, and I'm doing it exactly the same way I'm teaching you. I eat my own cooking. I, I drink my own Kool-Aid. And then number nine, blogs. Blogs are still alive and well. And what you want to do is promote on your blog the same thing that you're promoting on articles. So you're not giving yourself new work. What you're doing is you're allowing yourself to get more exposure. Now, I just got word that I've gotten over half a dozen sales so far in this presentation. Now, if you're watching the replay, it probably is too late. But if you're thinking about pulling the trigger and having me promote you, then let's get going. Because after 12, all bets are off for the bonus. Now, you get everything else, but you won't get the bonus gift of having me uh, promote you. Now, this is my favorite page, page number eight. Are you ready? Okay, this is how to repurpose your Google Hangouts. Page eight. Now, progress comes from caring more about what needs to be done than about who gets the credit. Dorothy Wright said that. I hope you like my quotes. I hope you've had some fun. And if you're still watching, maybe we'll be friends for life. That's my hope because your best friend today was once a stranger. So I'm hoping you'll allow me to mentor you. Now, here's the first way to repurpose a Hangout. Open office hours. Okay, what is that? Listen carefully. I charge $25,000 for someone to come into this office in Marin County, and I work on their business for a full day and do three months of follow-up once a week for about 30 minutes. So eight hours, one day, and then for 12 weeks follow up for about 30 minutes and that's a $25,000 proposition. I get 40 to 50 people like that a year. It's over a million dollars. Very, very blessed and lucky to do that. It took me a while to build it, but I'm known as a funnel marketing expert. I teach people how to do funnel makeovers, their marketing funnel, right? All the different products they have. Now, another offer I have is $5,000 for personal coaching with one of my coaches. My coaches are different because they're all millionaires, okay? And then if that's not in their budget, then I do something that I don't see anyone else do, and that's called open office hours. Now, if $25,000 is in, not in your budget, if $5,000 is not in your budget, then I say for $1,500 for three months, you get access to me twice a month for an hour each, and it's a hangout. It's an open hangout, and it's called open office hours. The people who pay the $1,500, and we have about 80 or 90 people in that program, do the math, you can charge 500 bucks for three months, what if you have 50, 60 people? Can't you make a lot of money? This is the thing, open office hours. You give people access and all they do is ask you questions. Sometimes they ignore you and interact with each other. I've had people from Jack Canfield's group come in with people with um, Les Brown's group and they start talking to each other and they ignore me. Now, if nobody shows up, which rarely happens, I just keep working because it's called open office hours. So that's a great way to repurpose a hangout. Another great way to repurpose is a group coaching. Why do coaching on Skype? It's harder to record. Do group coaching. You can get up to 10 people on a Google Hangout. We do all of our group coachings on Google Hangouts. We record them. We train other coaches doing it. I don't care if you're in the corporate world or in the entrepreneurial world. Group coaching is the thing with Google Hangouts because you record them. They automatically go into your YouTube channel and it's free. Next, strategy sessions. We bring people in for one hour and do strategy sessions one-on-one -on -one or in a group to get them into our $25,000 programs, our $5,000 programs, or $1,500 open office hours. And every week, we always get people because everyone is able to come in with nothing more than a web browser, an internet connection, 
and a webcam. Sometimes people come with their phone and we can't see them, but they come in with their phone. If they don't have a webcam on their phone, we just hear them. So strategy sessions are a great way to repurpose Hangouts. Next, number four, mega summits. Alex, what's a mega summit? A mega summit, I'm sure you've seen a multi-speaker event with multiple people at an event. A mega summit is something I invented about two and a half years ago where you have multiple people on a Hangout. They've all mailed for you so that you build your database, you get more exposure and more prospects, and they're promoting a topic that you are good at after you build a relationship with them. And it's called a mega summit is because it's a mega. It's like a, I invented the telesummit in 2001 where you have a bunch of people on a teleseminar teaching. A mega summit is the same thing on a hangout. And I've done million dollar launches using mega summits. I want to teach you how to do the same thing. Now, preview trainings. This, what I'm doing right now is a preview training. I am promoting hangout marketing, uh, hangout monetization secrets, right? I'm, I'm promoting that. This is a preview. I'm giving you content, I hope, worthy of devotion. I mean, you've been with me for 70 minutes. Why are you here unless you're devoted to this training? I hope it's been very effective. I'm, I'm honored that you're still here. You know, my mother says, Alex, how can anyone listen to you for more than a few minutes? <laughs> well, if I have something of interest that I'm saying to you and you agree with it, and you feel that this is your answer to, to getting to the promised land faster, better, and easier. If you want to join me and you continue to play close, close attention because you think Google Hangouts are your path and your secrets passageway to wealth and freedom, right? And if you stop now, then I think this marks the end of your progress, right? And I'm very definitive about that because I teach a lot of things, but what I teach most is to actually follow through on what you've gotten started. Now, next, another way to uh, repurpose this is speed dating. Speed dating, and by the way, you, you get access to this replay, so you can go to Hangout Monetization Secrets and say yes now. Speed dating is where, in the old days, you used to sit across from someone on a table, and um, when, if you're single or if you're divorced, um, you, you get to meet a lot of people. Now, there's a few things that you need when you do that. You need to physically be present there. Uh, you probably need some breath mints. What happens if you speed date or have a speed dating service where people are get, getting on Google Hangouts and you're, you're doing online dating, but you're doing it through speed dating, not through eHarmony or another dating service. That is something that I think is a lot um, less risky than you know, putting your, your um, profile up. So we have students who have done speed dating in order to you know, make money and they've done it in a big, big way. And I hope that you understand that not only is speed dating something that you could build a business for, but you can actually do it yourself if it's something that interests you. Number seven, okay? So another way to um, repurpose is music lessons. My, my son, Gabriel, he plays the drums. I know people who've, who've uh, done music lessons for guitars for other people. The cool thing is you can have up to nine other people watching and imagine 50 bucks an hour for a kid where it would be $100 another hour. Otherwise, you can charge uh, less money and make more because more people are watching. Cooking shows. I have someone who does a gluten-free cooking show from her kitchen. I have a Spanish cook in Spain who does a cooking show using nothing more than her laptop and the camera on her laptop. A cooking show is a great way to make money. You can turn your hobby into a vocation and make money from this. Folks, you don't have to make eight figures like me. You can make three figures or four figures. A little extra cash, anyone can use it. You will make up the money you spend for this course, believe me. And it's really easy, and I'm a pretty good teacher. I hope you agree so far. Next, personal training. I have a personal trainer by the name of Ivar. He charges me $100 for an hour. It's worth every penny. But I taught him that he could charge $50 an hour if he got nine people at the same time. And they get set up. He's in his garage with a big screen. They're set up, and they're doing... Um, you know, personal training with dumbbells and sit-ups and push-ups and stuff like that on a Google Hangout. And they're not in the same city. They're all over the world, in the Netherlands, in Poland, in South America, in, the, in North America. It's crazy. $400 an hour he's making from eight people at 50 bucks each. He does also rehabilitation because rehab costs a lot of money. He teaches people how to do rehab and, um, you know, they do it without insurance for 50 bucks an hour. And so personal training is a very, very strong way 
to build a business. If you're a personal trainer, um, Google Hangouts are for you. And then recovery meetings. I know people who have recovery meetings all over the world, whether it's um, Alcoholics Anonymous or any other type of 12-step program. What a great way to get access to the rest of the world. Now, this is where you get donations. You're not actually making money. It's nonprofit, but it's a great way to serve someone who has been formerly suffering. And then spiritual gatherings. I have a gentleman, Af African-American, he's in the South. He has a super church of 15,000 people, and he has people in his congregation, white, black, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, uh, Hispanic, doesn't matter. They're, they just crowd around the web camera, families, and they watch him give a sermon. Now, I think church or synagogue or the mosque that you attend, whatever spiritual persuasion, I think should be at home. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, going to church, some people show up Easter and Christmas, right? Well, spiritual gatherings, if you're a pastor, priest, or any kind of spiritual leader, if you're a, a yoga instructor, you can use Google Hangouts. And then finally, I've used my mobile phone, my smartphone, to be a citizen reporter. I've gone to the Academy Awards. I've gone to um, world um, sport gatherings and I brought my tribe with me. I say, hey, I'm Alex Mondosian. I'm right outside the, the Academy Awards, the Golden Globe Awards, and I see celebrities going by, and it gets me great exposure, even though that's not my primary area of expertise. Interviewing is, and that's what's happened for me. Now, let's look at some people who have repurposed their hangouts, and, and these are other students just like you. Now, let's see what Mark Zuckerberg says. He says, I think a simple rule of business is if you do the things that are easier first, then you can actually make a lot of progress. Okay, founder of Facebook. Well, the easiest thing is to participate in a social conversation. We use Facebook comments, his comment system, in order for people to communicate with each other like you've been doing tonight. Okay, so this is Larry Kessler. This is case study number five. He said the easiest way to get exposure is to do a Google Hangout. Now, before Larry came to us, he was a therapist and he still is. He's a healer in Long Beach, California, and he specializes in post-traumatic stress syndrome. Now, before taking our training, his marketing revenue didn't even cover the cash expenses he found himself in, and he was trading money for time. Do you find yourself doing that? I mean, th that's what Larry did. Now, he's not a marketer, he's a therapist, right? And he's just the guy, making, trying to make a living, right? He has people who love him and he loves people. Now, after utilizing just a few of the strategies, he wasn't a marketer, just learning some of the strategies and uh, in, in just starting with this course, he tripled his client flow in half the time and he attracted more pre-qualified patients with lower marketing expenses, zero marketing expenses, no advertising. Why? Because he was started to rank one on Google. Okay, he claims that Hangouts are a game changer for him. That is Larry Kessler, you can be exactly like him. Now, I have no idea if you're in your teens or if in your 80s or 90s, but I have people from age seven to age 91 doing this. Now, this is Fiona. Now, Fiona Tellison is in Melbourne, Australia. She's case study number six. She said, I've been able to monetize. <laughs> now, why is that important? Well, because she's never done it before. Now, before she met us, she was a genealogy expert of 44 years. And listen, I know you're probably skeptical of some of the stuff you're hearing. She was super skeptical. She was one of my biggest skeptics. She's now one of my closest friends. She utilized her hangout marketing strategies way after she learned for the first time. She just was repressing herself and resisting, resisting, resisting. And she couldn't monetize her message for 40 years. Well, after four months, she started participating in a challenge that we were in. And she claimed that after 40 years of doing genealogy as a hobby, she finally started to monetize her expertise by attracting and converting leads into a membership site. Now, this is Ricardo. He now works for us. But he said, Hangouts are a fantastic tool. Now, why does he speak with an accent? Because he lives in Savona, Italy, Riccardo Romano, case study number seven. Before taking the course, he was a video production professional, which he still is. He wanted to expose his message 
to outside of Italy so that he could teach people how to use YouTube better and you know how to edit stuff. He's my editor now. He does my video editing. You know, the video that you see on the page at Hangout Monetization Secrets, Ricardo did that. But he didn't know how to monetize all of this. He, he was a production guy. After he took the course, now look at his lower third, right? After he took the course, he learned how to become a master virtual trainer with me. And he quickly produced hangouts that attracted tightly targeted traffic to his brand new membership site and started monetizing his expertise, which is doing video. That's what he's best at. Now we learned how to do the marketing. And he also has these little cartoons that are super, super cool. I hope you can work with him. He's one of our vendors. And then finally, our final case study is Yoram. Now I have many, many, many more, but these are eight of them, all different types. Yoram Baltanester, he's in California, San Diego, and uh, he does coaching on Hangouts. And he, he teaches decisive action workshops. Decision means to cut off possibility. And he's all about taking action. Now, before meeting us, he took a lot of action, but he took the wrong action. He was going in the wrong direction enthusiastically. He's a motivational speaker and a trainer, lives in San Diego. And before training with us, his events were limited only to the students within driving distance. Los Angeles, maybe Santa Barbara, you know, just within a few hours of driving. And that limited him. Well, after our training, he was taught he could use Google Hangouts to spread his social influence. He's really good at what he does to the rest of the world. And now he does it and he reaches many continents, not just Southern California. And he, he, he reaches a global market faster, better, and with having, without having to fly ab abroad. This is Reed Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn. He said, everything in life has some risk. And what you have to actually learn is, uh, is how to navigate it. Well, I, I agree with Reed. Reed works about uh, 70 miles away from where I'm conducting this hangout. And that brings me to two objections that you're going to get on your, on your Google Hangouts that are crippling. They're not your objections. Many, especially those of you who have come on board, and thank you for saying yes. I'm so excited. We are about to embark on a huge journey. You better say yes. Come on. Let's do it. We're almost done. Home stretch. There's two objections. I don't have the time. I don't have the money. Okay. Well, you do have the money. You make way over $200 in a year. You make over $200 in a week, most likely. Probably you make over $200 in a day. I'm not asking for a pound of flesh. So you have the money. You also have the time. Uh, when you say you don't have the time, you don't have the money, you're not really saying that. Okay, now I wanna teach you something because when you get this objection, I want you to come back to them the same way. Everyone has the same amount of time. You have the same time that Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, Sir Richard Branson. You have the same time that, that uh, Steve Jobs had or uh, Martin Luther King did or Mahatma Gandhi. Everyone has the same amount of time. 86,400 seconds a day, uh, 168 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. When you're saying you don't have enough time or one of your prospects says, wait a minute, I can't do this. You know, this hangout was cool, but I don't have time or I don't have money. They have money. They're living. You got 3 billion people making less than $2 a day. You make more than $2 a day, even if you're unemployed, okay? Unemployment in the US makes 100 times more than that, right? You have the time and money. What you're really telling me and what others are telling you when they say no to you and, and learn this because this is how to dismantle that objection. It shouldn't be crippling. It shouldn't be crucifying you. It should be liberating you. What they're really telling you that it is not a priority. It is not a priority. So now I want you to rediscover the principle of priority. The principle of priority is, write this down, knowing the difference between what is important and what is urgent. Knowing the difference between what is important and what is urgent and doing what's important first. That is what I want you to do as if, like the Buddhist, if you had three days to live, what would you do? What's urgent or what's important? You'd probably call up your enemies and say, I love you. <laughs> You'd probably call former spouses and friends and say, I love you, I'm sorry. Okay, pretend like you got a few days to live and what happens? Everything that was urgent, causing stress and overwhelm goes away. And what you put in the foreground and focus, as I started in the very, very beginning, you're overwhelmed because you don't know what to start on. You don't know what to keep doing. 
Well, overwhelm keeps you stuck. Are you unstuck now? Okay, movement is life. I wanna get you moving and unstuck and I want you to control your focus and give you the skills which I've given you today, give you the tools which I've given you today and give you the leverage to take your business off of life support if you have one or start a business and catapult it to the moon. So you get the, the business and you get the income you've always deserved. Look, you are not as good as you think you are. You're better. So the principle of priority is knowing the difference between what is important and what is urgent and doing what's important first. Now, let's go to the final page, okay? I want you to type in Hangout Monetization Secrets. I want you to type it into that www area. Hangout Monetization Secrets was $1,977, okay? But after I did the first 200 sales, it was now affordable to me to cross out the seven and make it $197. You get the bonus gifts on, published on the page and as well as some surprise bonuses. You get access to me every single Friday on Hangout so you learn. Simply go to Hangout monetizationsecrets.com. This is the end. If you don't do this now, then this marks the end of your progress. Okay. You got to do this before other people get involved. Imagine if you knew this information three months ago, what are the energy draining activities that you're engaged in every single day that you can stop? Well, do start, start doing this. Now, if you don't think that you want to do this online, then simply email my uh, managing director, Sandra, Sandra at marketingonline.com. Give her your phone number. She will call you back and will take your order by phone. Sandra at marketingonline.com. Now, if you want to call direct, just simply dial 415-493-5567. That is in the U.S. That's direct access. So Sandra at marketingonline.com. Do not put your credit card in the email. Just contact her and she'll reach you back or 415-493-5567 or Simply go to hangoutmonetizationsecrets.com. My favorite three takeaways are as follows, okay? Exposure is the single most important element that creates marketing movement. That is my biggest takeaway. That's number one. Number two, the fit formula is easy to understand and implement, but you got to do it. Fit stands for follow, invite, and tell. And go back and watch the replay if you forgot. And then finally, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to give you this uh, takeaway right now. Indecision is a decision. Look at that. Indecision is a decision. Movement is life and staying stuck is death. So prioritize your decisions. If you're indecisive right now, you've just decided not to take part in this. That's fine. But why did you stay this long? For what? For $200? That's getting in the way? Are you kidding me? Forget $200. $197 and we have financing? That's getting in the way. I don't care if you bought other stuff and it didn't work. You've been with me for an hour and a half. You don't trust me by now. You're never going to trust me. So why do you keep watching? It's not a threat. I'm just asking. Don't let that little voice get in the way and say, I can't do this, or it's easy for him and I can't do it. No, I have six and seven-year-olds that have done this. I have 91-year-olds with cataracts, walking with a cane, done this. I've shown you all the case studies. There's many, many more. That's all I can pack into an hour and, and a half. And I think I've given you more and I deserve an order from you. I deserve a yes from you. Remember, the only difference between a problem and a solution, says Charles Kettering, is that everybody usually understands a solution. Give me your yes, allow me to mentor you. And if you still don't believe me, go to the final page and see who's given me endorsement. I hope that you could be the next person I promote here because these people just don't give endorsements just to anybody. Go to that final page and check it out. And if you've said yes to me, I will be giving you this sheet with all my answers so you learn faster, better, and easier. My name is Alex Mondosi, and on behalf of Gary Ryan Blair and the entire Marketing Online team, I am honored that you said yes. You are not as good as you think you are. You are better. And remember, the only thing worse than going in the wrong direction is going in the wrong direction enthusiastically. So you say yes to yourself, say yes to your business, and say yes to the rest of the world by moving forward. Am I trying to influence you to say yes? Of course I am. Am I trying to influence you and persuade you to come on board? Of course I am. This is the one, this is the training that will take you to the next level if you allow it to. If you don't, then it won't. But if you do, watch what happens. And I hope 
our paths cross again soon. My name is Alex Mondosian, and I want to wish you good luck, good sales, and I hope our paths cross again very